name is Ian and I'm bringing you today a time-lapse video of the process of creating a digital background for an existing illustration on the Procyon Concancribulus, I'm butchering that name, which is a crab-eating raccoon found from Costa Rica all the way down to Argentina. Think of it as a less fluffy, leaner version of the North American raccoon, the better known one. So this illustration is not the full process of it because uh, the process usually involves me drawing the illustration on paper and then inking over it. Uh, what happened was I sort of messed up the original background and I wasn't entirely happy with it. Not at all really. That's why I decided to do it all digitally. Now that I have a tablet that allows me for more control, I went, yeah, it'll be a good exercise to improve the entire look of the piece. So, some people might describe this as tribal, sort of a blanket term for the style of imagery I use, but it's actually based on an existing, you could say now it's the same tradition, tradition of pottery design from pre-Columbian times, specifically from the Gran Cocle cultural region in central Panama. If you're interested in that, there's a lot of articles on pottery design, mostly right from an archaeological point of view. So this, the pottery usually plates and pots uh, display the illustrations of animals that were imported to the native peoples of the area. So you have fishes and small mammals, lizards, stuff they ate, stuff they saw every day, animals that were important to them in one way or another, portrayed in a geometrical and repetitive pattern style it's very particular to the region and even widespread throughout the pre-Columbian world so before Christopher Columbus made contact they had their entire they, well as everybody knows uh, they had a culture and they had art and this is some of the stuff that always struck with me when I grow, was growing up was how beautiful those designs are and how realistically it's been lost in many ways or, or subsumed by the prevalent myths of, I don't know, like the European-born nation-states that have created an entire different culture that's forgotten the most of the pre-Columbian history of the region. I'm the, the aggressing into another area and that could be an interesting video for another day. Anyway, here's a video we are mostly working on mangrove design. What happened was, as I explained, I didn't like it and decided to redo the entire thing. Tweak some things, mostly the shape of the black, the width of the lines. When I go into the second part of this video, you can tell that with the raccoon itself, there were some little details where I didn't quite use the brush correctly. The size of certain details wasn't uniform enough. And it just really helps me to think of these pieces. While well, the original artwork is one thing, the finished product is an entire process and it helps to inform either, when, by which I mean when I work digitally, it informs the way I work traditionally. Because this whole process took more longer than it should have because of mistakes I made when I was originally inking it. But now we have a video and you stick around until the end of the video and the next one you'll be listening to a nice piece of free music i found online by a group called the mind orchestra and the title of the song is on matri uge sale du and i've probably written that in some description somewhere near this video and you can find it online if you don't like the music mute it go somewhere else but if you do like it and if you do like the video let me know. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you. 
Yeah.